couldn't sleep all night. My neck's all tense. I, oh, I feel like a man in a condemned cell. Well, I wasn't frightened of him at all. Do you like a nice Well brought up gentleman to me. I didn't give a thought to his position. Well, I think he's lovely. He's so well educated, so well brought up. And we took to each other straight off. He kept aiming meaningful glances at me. <laughs> but, Mama, those meaningful glances were aimed at me. You're not very worldly, are you, Mama? Why would you bother with you? I'm more of that. It's up to you. No, oh, wait a minute. That one word sums you up. I wonder how much of what he said last night was true. Well, maybe it's all true up in a man's sobs. It all pours out. Oh, but he probably threw in a few white lies. Well, everyone does that. He goes to the palace every day and plays whist with the foreign secretary. But he can certainly put it over. Very convincing. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Is your master still asleep? Uh, he's stretching a little bit. Leslie, what's your name? Awesome, madam. Uh, listen, awesome, uh, they fed you all right? A very good meal. Uh, I, I suppose your master's visited by lots of counts and princes. If I get this.
yes, I can make a speech. And if the subject's right, I mean, I could talk about dogs until the gals come home. Oh, you can't talk about dogs. You guys can talk about dogs. You're the man for the job. <laughs> Character. 
I'll tap this one for a loan too. You know, <laughs> funny thing happened to me on the way here. I completely ran out of cash. You think you give me a loan of about 300 rubles? Yeah, you know what? I'll tell you what I think that'd be best. Say what you 
name again? Zamiatis. Sir Artemis. Oh, I know Zamiatis. Well, listen, Artie, uh -huh. um, you know, uh, you got any children yourself? Uh, well, of course I have kids, sir. I got five. Five? Well, hee-haw! <laughs> and what are their names? Well, there's, there's Nicholas. Uh-huh. Uh, very patriotic. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Now, I won't take up any more of your time. I know that you are very diplomatic. Right, and what's your name again? I did from G. Zemianis, sir. C E M L Y A N I T A. Zemianis. Right, Artie, Artie. Uh -huh. Listen, Artie, yeah. um, you know, a funny thing happened to me on the way here. Um, I completely ran out of cash. Sure. Um, uh, well, I was wondering if maybe you could give me a loan of about 400 rubles.
very fond of money. But these people are a generous bunch. Let's see how much I've collected. Well, 300 from the judge, 300 from the postmistress, 300 from the school superintendent, 400 from the charity commissioner. Well, that's five, six, oh, what a filthy note. <coughs> Five, six, seven. But it's over a thousand. Well, I wish I could meet that infantry captain now. Oh, I teach him how to play a game of cards. Oh, oh, oh well, there you are, stupid. You know, these people know how to treat someone with respect, even if you don't. They're uh, very nice, too. Uh, you know something, Lars? Uh, what's that? I think we ought to get moving. It's about time. Nonsense. What for? Well, because it's vanishing time. I mean, we don't want to outstay our welcome. Anyone might turn up if we hang around here. The horses have got their beauty. We can be over the rising in no time. Well, let's just stay until tomorrow. I'm having so much fun. No, uh, tomorrow. We better hop in today. I mean, sure, they're buttering us up now. But that's because they think we're your son when you're not. And your father will go mad if we don't get back soon. If you give us the best horses, we can be off in half an hour. Fine.
market. Police at four, got there too late. So they grabbed me and beat me. I couldn't sit down for two days. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, there's not much you can do about that now. So long. <laughs>
you and proffer you the unstinted devotion and passionate love which the moons of your eyes have set fire to in my heart. Oh, love? I'm not sure I know the meaning of that word. Don't oh, worry, this is cozy. Why so close? It's the same further away. Why further away? It's the same here. Oh, you Don't be moving. Oh, you pretend to leave the mom's apartment. Oh, 
May God bless you and... Oh, don't blame me. Good heavens, they're hugging, they're kissing, they're in love, they're engaged. Oh, three cheers for the governor. What a turn up for the book. The Troika is ready, sir. Uh, uh, oh. Troika, are you off somewhere? Oh, yes, yes, great, Jane, how are you going? Uh, but just a minute ago, we were talking about something. A wedding, wasn't it? Oh, um, yeah. Uncle Wally D, um, I, I, my very old uncle, and he's, I have been blessing he's very old, and he's dying, he's dying, and so I have get it now before he dies. Well, of course, we mustn't hold you up. Uh, wow, my love, I, I can't express what it is that I'm feeling. Bye, mother. <laughs>
flying, flying up a God-given mission. Bastard! Where are you racing to, Russia? Oh, no answer as usual, no answer. Just the odd, shaky music of the horse's bells, torn to a thousand tatters, and the wind roars past. And now, and now you're overtaking the whole world. And one day, one day, every country will stand aside and stare at you pass. Well, every country, every empire, and they'll all make way for you, Russia! They'll all make way for you!
Olympics are two fish dishes. Carp a and eels in aspic, which are so delicious that your tongue oh, it curls up in the light. Fish? Is that all you care about? <laughs> I want my hands to be the chicest in St. Petersburg. I've always dreamed of a boudoir. My boudoir will be sprayed with so much French scent you'll have to screw up your eyes when you walk in. Mmm, lovely. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you all of my friends come in. Come in. And how's your health? And how's business? And how are you doing? And how are you all? And so, you taste willy peddlers. You flaunt a complaint. A complaint from the ancient order of cheese and chiselers. You, you put water in the vodka. You put sand in the sugar. You put toenails in the brawn. And you complain about me. But we'll get him put away, didn't you? Well, now we'll suddenly well see who's put away. Language, that's a language. Oh, shut up, woman. Listen, insects. You know that inspector you went crawling to? Well, he's going to marry my daughter. Yes, what have you got to say to that? Hmm? Well, I'll show you. You sign a contract with the government for all the uniforms. They were 400,000 by using rotten cloth. You owe me 0.2% and you expect me to be grateful? Have you ever heard of Siberia? Push out your belly as if you're proud of it, as if you're some sort of an aristocrat while you're not. Because an aristocrat, he goes to school. He has it dogged in here, but you, first day on the job, and your master beats you because you don't know how to cheat. Schooling is all you'll ever learn. You're just a boy, aren't you? You don't know the Lord's prayer, do you? Oh, but you know about giving short measure, don't you? And if you're going to put on airs, you'd better learn some manners. You'd better learn how to measure corn people with bills. You'd better learn about weights and measures, and you'd all better learn how to go off. And who bailed you out when you built a bridge with a hundred rubles worth of timber and played by twenty thousand? Oh, I pulled you out of the kids by your beard! What for me, you'd all be shoveling salt! Oh, we are all guilty, Your Excellency. The devil, the devil tempted us and, and we fell. Please forgive us. We, we promise never to do it again. Please forgive us. Please forgive us. I know why you're all whining to me now. Because I won. Because I got the lot of you by the short and curly. But if things had gone differently, you would have beat me in over the head with a tree trunk and smack me into the head with a, a mud. Please don't ruin us. Please don't ruin us. Please. Oh, I won't ruin you. I'm not a man to bear a grudge. Only as your police governor, I would not be insulted if you were to congratulate me on my daughter's wedding. Tangible congratulations, you understand it. Not just a, a second hand samovar, a, a couple of pounds of salted reindeer. Right. Now get out of here! And you may God be with you. Can one believe the rumors that time? As the goddess fortune showered down on you with parents, as my grandma used to say. I'm tremendously better on the spot. Oh, congratulations, all oh, man. Just pop around. To wish the best of the happy couple. May all the troubles be little ones. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, my governor, Karolke. It really means so much. I'm really showing you a seat, please. Thank you. Oh, oh. enough already. And, uh, congratulations all around. Oh, Anton, I just wanted to say congratulations. It's oh. really wonderful. <laughs> Mrs. Skolsnik-Mukhanovsky. Oh, Mrs. Skolsnik-Mukhanovsky. <laughs> Maria, congratulations all around. You'll be a fine lady now and wear a gown of gold and eat the most wonderful soup and have a really amusing life. <laughs> Congratulations all around. I know you'll be very happy and rich with a whole stack of money. A little baby boy. So tiny you can fit it in the palm of your hand like this. But it'll be a bouncing baby. And, and you'll have a great big voice like this. Oh, I'd just like to present my Listen, Ruba, Anna's had such a stroke of luck. I'm so pleased. 
please, I want you to dash around and give her a kiss. I know, she's always wanted her daughter to marry well. It must be fake, I said. Oh, I was overjoyed. I couldn't utter. Oh, I was crying. It was happy. The sound in my heart. I didn't look at it. What are you crying about? I don't know. The tears came first. Now, please, everyone, a safe, a safe. Please, can we bring us some more drinks? And time. Congratulations are in order. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, my lad. Oh, please insist. Uh, I say, Anton, how did you clinch? Oh, it was quite amazing. He proposed on his own accord. Just like money. It was so much tact and respect. Oh. He said to me, Anna, may I call you Anna? Your virtues enchant me. But what? Sit down. He said to me, <laughs> Thank you. 
Because of such an important person. But that's just the point. He's not a person. He's not important. He's not from the government. And he's not a government inspector. Oh, oh, all right, oh, since you know so much, who is he? God only knows. Now, dare you speak him like that? I'm going to have you arrested. What? Yes, me, of course. Oh, you can't do that. Of course I can. Well, don't you know that he's going to marry my daughter? You will be off in Siberia. Whoa. Siberia's a long way away, as they uh, say in the post I'm office. Yes, <laughs>
senior governor's medal to go to slow. <laughs> Wants to see all of you there. Amen. 